Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, I am Dimakazo Karabo Kumalo, but also known as Didi. So I know I haven't posted a video in like two weeks now. Um, yeah, things have been quite crazy on my side. I started with school, so I'm officially back in school. I'm doing uh, corporate governance through vids and my lecture started last week and if i can tell you guys i am already feeling under so much pressure um like yeah i'm i'm under quite a lot of pressure trying to i'm still trying to find a good balance between the school work and family and yeah i think i was quarter to complaining if not complaining um just the other day i was speaking to my sister-in-law on the phone and i was just saying to her i'm under so much pressure i'm so stressed i'm so this what did i get myself into and then she said to me you need to be careful not to curse your blessing because you're currently living in your answered prayers you know sometimes you ask god for certain things and we pray for certain things for a long time and once we get them we tend to forget um why we wanted the stuff in the first place or you know we tend to forget um that we're actually more than capable and my sister-in-law said to me instead of complaining about how tough things are rather ask god to give you the strength and the ability to be able to manage what he has put into your hands so yeah going into this new week it's a monday today and going into this new week that's exactly what i am going to hold on to um just praying and asking god to just give me strength and the courage and wisdom to do everything that he has put into my hands and to do it well as well because i'm one person i don't just want to do things for the sake of doing things but i want to do things and do them well so yeah that's that on that but other than that i did have a video that i wanted to post last week um of a friend of mine and i um she came to visit and we had been cooking and having like really great chats but i promise you guys i tried to edit the video literally a few days ago and i realized that all my footage like was gone and instead of dwelling on it and being sad i was just like you know what it's fine i will vlog today which is monday and for those of you who are wondering why i'm all dolled up um and looking pretty so i'm going away with um the cotton on foundation we are going to durban i'm actually leaving in like 30 minutes time they've sent a driver to come pick me up and then i'll be heading to the airports to meet everyone else that will be coming with us on this trip so the trip is for nelson mandela day um but i'll tell you more about it as this vlog continues i'm very very excited about this trip um it's been on my heart for quite some time now to get involved um in community work and in outreaches and giving back to the community you know um i feel like god has really brought me this far and i'm, a, I'm literally a product of the people around me pouring out into my life um whether it was financially um emotionally you know or just like everyone who played a role in basically raising me i feel has contributed to the person that i am today and it's my responsibility to go back out there and see how i can also make a difference in my world or into the in the next person's life and so being part of this is a really exciting um journey for me and the first of not even the first because i did actually in varsity i used to do quite a lot of um community work and outreaches but in this current season that i'm in this is the first of many i am traveling again on friday um with entera jemina for another initiative amazing initiative which i will probably talk about in another vlog but yeah i'm very excited and i want to show you quickly what i'm wearing before i leave the house and then you guys can come to the airport with me by the way guys i'm so obsessed with my new hair my new look um my hairstylist actually wanted us to do a full frontal so this hairstyle but like an installation and i was like there is no way if there's one thing that 
I am not into anymore. It's installations, guys, full frontals. I just feel like you can never win with them. And they look good for the first few hours and then they start lifting. Or if I go, for example, tonight, we're going to Durban. I mean, today we're going to Durban and obviously tomorrow there's work that we're going to be doing um, for Nelson Mandela Day. The worst thing for me would be to wake up and my lace is either lifting or is visible. That really, really annoys me a lot. So in order to, and I really wanted this hairstyle. Um, so in order to make it work and to ensure that I will still be looking proper tomorrow, I asked my stylist um, to make a pondo with my own hair here in front and then to do tracks at the back. Well, half from this part of my head all the way down she sewed in the tracks so yeah this is the look and i really love it i think curls are my thing i'm really enjoying having curly hair i've been wearing one of my other curly wigs for like three weeks now and it honestly it's just it's convenient um i don't need to stress too much about straightening and all of that so this is my new hairstyle let me know in the comment section what you think of this new hair and then my face i decided to do my face with your gracious today um she's actually been supposed to do my face for quite some time now well she yeah like there's a face beat that she needed to do for me and i decided to hit her up lot a few days ago to tell her that i'm traveling today so can she do my face and i am obsessed one thing about your gracious she knows how to do a good face beat i am so so happy with how i look and yeah i'm gonna put my outfit here um yeah i'm gonna put my outfit here so what am i wearing today i am wearing jeans from cotton on the white top is also from cotton on and then the leather jacket is from style alert you guys saw it in my previous video if you haven't watched my previous video where i do my sheen and style alert haul then do please check it out but this is from style alert all the details about this jacket are in that previous video that i posted so if you missed it do check it out and then sneakers i am wearing af ones white ones um i wanted my top to match my shoes so that's why i'm wearing white sneakers but yeah that is my outfit of the day let me know what you think of it morning my name is Danny. <laughs> from DSC Transfers. I'm going to Uwer Tambo Airport. <laughs> okay, thank you for picking me up. Okay, that's my pleasure. <laughs> Guys, this is Michelle, and some of you probably know Candace. Candace. I hope you know me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be worried. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hi. 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 Guys, we just landed in Durban and are now going to look for our bags. Well, I'm going to look for my bag. Tamarin. I came and I packed lights. Did not check in Here's her bag. my bag. Right, Jack. <laughs> I literally always pick pack so much. Because I'm like, what if there's like a storm and we can't fly back? Honestly? And I need I to have an I <laughs> And I need to have an extra outfit. This is us. Which way do we go? Awesome. A lot of people just love to eat that way. Welcome to summer. Welcome <laughs> to summer. Love it for real. Love a sing. Hi. How hot is it? It's, it's time hot. to get naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thank you so much. Sorry. Hello. I mean, it's early. Oh, wait, the, it's just... the jerseys are off. Yeah, the jerseys are off. <laughs> <laughs> Story post. We'll we'll say we, we just you can put the aircon on for us. We're in the tropics. 
Oh, I wish, basically. I don't think I've asked for someone to put the aircon on for long. Oh. <laughs> the window's open if it's for the first. That was the flat, everyone. Uh, build a primary school from the ground up. So in the last three years, that has been built. Um, it has a hundred, it can accommodate 1,200 learners. We, we feed them twice a day, the kids. So it's one of the biggest reasons that they come to school is because they get fed as well. Um, it is a state-of-the-art primary school. So although we are building schools in really like uh, in poverty-stricken areas, we believe that the kids still get the best of the best. So we've got something that we call like the circ we close the loop um, educational uh, strategy. So we can't just have a primary school. We then realized we need a nursery school where the kids could be fed into the primary school, that we needed a high school where the primary school kids could go to afterwards. And then we've actually um, started a really incredible retail academy. And um, we're also sponsoring 30 uh, university places that we pay for every year. So um, our project that we're working on at the moment is the, the high school, which is where we're gonna go, be going tomorrow called JL Dubé High School and they, they it was exactly the same so classrooms with no windows not enough desks for everyone chalkboards if you can imagine still writing on the chalkboard in the same community in Kamashu so we've got it then we've actually we're 50% complete with the project which means they now have a school hall and um, a sports facility and we're now in the process of completing the school, which we want to open in January for the new school year. Um, I think that's about 1,300. Um, so part of our program is also empowering the teachers. So, teach, so really in teaching them, empowering them. We've also got a nutrition program called the Nutrition Mission, where women in the community actually come to Etikreni. There's a specific uh, kitchen like facility where we teach moms and carers in the community how to make nutrition, nutritional food um, with what's there and available on a budget. And then obviously that gives them skills to go out and also secure jobs and also provide for their families. Um, so it's a very, it's a really precious project. Um, I think that what makes the foundation, our project different to what a lot of um, big corporates, you know, they obviously have their own CSI projects, is we have a team that is employed by Cotton On just to actually be involved in where the money is spent. So we have a GM for foundation, he sits on the board, we've got an entire team, marketing, social, um, sales, product developers that purely work in that function. And we, we believe that the importance of working with the community on make, getting the most out of that financial investment. So we don't just go and donate 260 million Rand and then go, good luck, I hope it works out and walk away. We stay, we're totally involved. We've got people that are employed on the ground to support that entire process. Um, our foundation ambassador is Nomzama Mbata. She actually grew up in uh, Kormashu. Her mom is still a teacher in Kormashu, which is pretty incredible. Um, and we struck up the partnership with her about three years ago. So I reached out to her and found out if she would be interested in helping us by using her platforms to amplify the work that we're doing. Um, and she was obviously very much on board. So she will be coming, she's flying, I think she's out of here this morning and she's flying now. She will be joining us for dinner tonight. And um, obviously there's a lot of hype around her with her movie, or well, not a movie, her documentary that's done so well. Um, and she'll be a main speaker at the event tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we're very excited to have her. She's obviously done a lot for us in terms of also using her, her platforms to amplify the foundation message. And I guess the piece with this specific campaign we've worked on is we always, every year, we have a relationship with the Nelson Mandela Foundation. We reach out to them to find out what is it that they are championing this year. It's 10 years since Nelson Mandela died and their big mission is around planting trees. Um, and the importance of trees in, in communities, especially where there aren't trees today. And so what we've done is we've used this last three weeks, so two weeks actually until today, and we still have a week left of the campaign, that all the proceeds of our foundation items will go to this um, specific One Tree Planted campaign, 
we ran a cam campaign last month for one tree planted and we raised enough money for 87,000 trees which are being planted and I'm, when I'm saying trees I'm not saying seedlings like legit big trees are being planted outside near Kruger where there's been deforestation and then this campaign specifically is to plant trees in educational like in communities where there are schools so the money that we've raised now as of last week we had raised uh, 320,000 rand um, which means and our target was 600,000 so we will exceed our target but what we'll be doing with this specific fundraising amount of money is we're going to be planting sports fields um, we'll have various greening projects in and around jail Dubé, high school and the primary school and we will be rolling up our sleeves tomorrow and actually planting 15 very large trees at jail Dubé high school um, so your presence here and thank you for coming along with us and joining because we want to have long-term relationships with anyone that is part of this foundation um, team or community that we like to call it um, and you telling our customers that they can also make a difference by purchasing a foundation item in our stores that call to action in like if you add it all together that allows us to do things like this and previously lots of people say they don't like we didn't know that cotton on had a foundation we didn't know they did this work our previous stance on it was we wanted to remain humble and we didn't want to be that we, we don't see ourselves as that business who's got to like shout and go on about how much we're investing in community in south africa but it's a given that we should be doing that knowing that we've got such a big retail presence here but what we've realized is that our customer actually wants to know that they're supporting a brand that's doing this work and so we very organically and authentically through ambassadors and influencers and community that we work with we want we want to make sure that you guys in your way can can talk to your followers and your audiences and our customer and tell them in a really authentic way what it is that we're doing so that's part of the reason we have these field trips and why we invite people to these projects is so that they can see for themselves and go back and share that so currently if you can believe it one in one in three customers purchases a foundation item from us. It's one of the best ratios in the world. And we believe it's because our customer knows it's going into local. It's not being sent money that's being sent somewhere else. So the local message is important. And for this specific campaign, we've been wanting a one in two ratio so that at least every second customer purchases an item. It could be water, mints, tissues. You guys know where they are. Everyone wants a she didn't love you back, love you back All she did was leave a hole in your chest You didn't get that job, get that job even An apple a day? The doctor <laughs> Guys, so it's getting dark very quickly, so I quickly want to give you guys a bedroom tour. The view looks absolutely amazing, and I want you guys to see this. Let's go. Going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down dirty I got the bad guy You want some love, be dark when you feel like calling me There is some treats over here. I got non-alcoholic champagne at the entrance. Um, then there's these treats. 
there is some notes over here for me i've already opened this one i'm not sure what's inside here but let's see what the note the welcome note says So it says, Dear Karabo Didi, we are delighted to have you with us and wish you the most, a most memorable stay. We hope that you will find time to relax and enjoy all the, all the hotel has to offer. Kindly find information, blah, 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 etc. You guys can read the rest of it. But let's open the second one. Dear Miss Didi, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the Oyster Box. All members of my team are on standby to make your stay with us relaxing and memorable. It is my wish that you will return often to celebrate special moments. So, yeah guys. So we received this um, Cotton On Foundation bag. I quickly want to do an unboxing with you guys. Let's see what is inside. The sound of the ocean is so loud so I think this is a cotton on foundation hoodie oh sweater so it's a sweat sweat top cotton on foundation and then we have got a cotton on foundation cap and then there is a notebook um there's a bottle of water we're going to be planting trees tomorrow so and it's quite warm in durban by the way it is warm like it feels like summer compared to Joburg. what's this um a bottle so this is a bottle for my water and then we've got cotton on foundation tops it's in your hands oh guys there's more things so there's a pack of sweets as well there's i guessing this is like a stationary stationary um box as well no it's not it's actually it's sunscreen so this is sunscreen um hand sanitizer some lotion and body butter and then there is more sweets some more sweets more more sweets and the queen is ready <laughs> looking gorgeous the girls are beautiful i'm probably gonna hate it <laughs> guys i'm about to try an oyster that has cheese and white spinach i'm scared for my life but and it's hot <laughs> why is it hot something different okay are you ready no 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 don't 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 do that don't do that eat it swallow swallow why is it going out of focus now that was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never, I, I don't think I've ever had crayfish. Namzama, what are you having? I'm having a crayfish yeah. with thermidor. So thermidor is like a bait situation. Not so easy. <laughs> It's too much. Would you like what? Would you like what? Yes, what did you order? At least your one is grilled. At least your one is grilled. So you you? Wait, what's yours? No, oh, mine just has like cheese and mushrooms, and it's a whole like. I can't I'm eating your chocolate. I actually want to close up. Oh, I'm grilled. Oh my god. 
Truth be well, told, I'm I can have one. I'm, I'm, I'm offering. How was dinner? Was it amazing? <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> How was your dinner? What did you have? Tomato, pasty, oh. I can't describe it, it was that good. Achanda, okay. how was your dinner? It was okay. Was it fine? Was it too much? I'm having one of your It was okay. How was your dinner? I didn't see you eating. Oh, fries. A lot of fries. Mish. How was your dinner? Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, this good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you too. Candace, my dinner was how was your dinner? Why are you acting shy? She's so not shy. Are you tired? What are you having for dessert? I have no idea what I'm having for dessert. <laughs> but I know that it's delicious and it's got like cinnamon and ginger. No, it's fine. It's like a little rice pudding. I don't really situation. like it. I'm loving it. I think your palate is quite different from the rest no, of us. I, I really, I I mean, you are well traveled. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I've had some, I don't know what it is, but it's like a sago y, noodly, cinnamony, delicious something. And, but I'm not sure what I want anymore. <laughs> I had one of these balls, I don't know what it is. It's like something between a fed cook and a cook sister. Is it delicious? Delicious enough. <laughs> I'm going to try it out. <laughs> Morning guys, so it is Tuesday. When? Mm -hmm. Tuesday. <laughs> so it is Tuesday morning at 6am. Um, I just showered. Did my hair, well, combed it out, and ready for the new day. So I got a makeup artist to do my face for today because I just don't want to stress about um, doing my own face. And I was telling one of the ladies yesterday, Leah, that I'm actually doing my face this morning. And she's like, oh my word, can I also do my face? So we asked the makeup artist to come at 5 a.m. So <laughs> she's been doing her face while i was taking a shower and they're almost done so it's almost my turn she's looking so gorgeous already i let's go say morning to them i'm feeling a bit tired but not too bad i was starting to come up with a flu my nose was really congested and my throat is quite sore but my nose is much better since taking a warm shower still have a bit of a sore throat but i'm just gonna have to be strong for today and yeah guys let's go say morning to leah and sandra what are you going for uh natural <laughs> <laughs> anything natural golds and browns i don't usually do makeup so <laughs> for me i wanted to just keep it simple <laughs> are you comfortable to share with us what happened oh uh, yeah i had a car accident two weeks ago um this girl is a walking miracle so i have a little harry potter scar wound <laughs> But yeah, but if they could see what it looked like two days ago, oh it was so gosh, scary. Yeah. It was still crusty and... Sandra, do you want to say morning? Good morning, guys. <laughs> I'm Sandra. Diddy's makeup artist. <laughs> yes, and girl. <laughs> so we're getting ready right now. Just before they head out for breakfast. I had to be up very early. Yeah. Thank you, you, thank you so like much. <laughs> I know, I won't lie, when I heard the, the phone ring, I was like, oh. <laughs> How did you sleep? You're looking gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> How good were those pillows? Like my the sheets, everything. Candace. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Did you sleep well? <laughs> Everyone's ready to go home and sleep. I slept so well. But I knocked out the moment I laid my head on the bed. Guys, in the act. 
slept like a baby, went for a run this morning, yes, like a superstar, like a champion that I am. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Feeling it, you know? <laughs> Look like a 10 kilometers, but it was three. Thank you, Tannen. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like you. Happy love with my dad. I thought we just danced. Are we just dancing? Okay. <laughs>
driving back to where we stay again, the Oyster Bar. I'm, I'm so tired. But it's been such a fruitful and wonderful day. Uh, my heart is really cool. I had a wonderful time. And now we're just going to have some downtime. But yeah, how was your day? It was a 10 out of 10. So happy. And it was just lots of love. Very special day. Let me just be light. Very special day. I think it was pretty incredible and we have been reminded why we do what we do every day. So I hope that we don't just wait for Mandela Day to create such incredible memories and make such an impact. So yeah, and we've made a lot of new friends and we planted Plant trees. Ladies at the back. I definitely made new friends. I'm going to go and more coffee with in Johannesburg. <laughs> made new friends. I bought a bit of muscle <laughs> with the stomper. <laughs> so I'm, leaving, I'm leaving a better person. This is it. Planted a couple of trees and named them. So looking forward to coming back in a couple of years. Eh? <laughs> Great stuff, guys. You might see us later. You might not see us later. But we will see. If you don't see us later, we love you. Bye.